Hi guys, it's Otto from Motorize It, and today we'll be looking at sensors um, for your RTS and I.O. motors. Um, most people will have RTS motors, um, and then you'll have this um, sensor. This is a Fermo Sunis. Um, I've actually taken the lid off so you can see what's, uh, what's underneath it. Um, and this is an I.O. sensor with the lid still on, so you can see the difference. Um, now which one is the right version for the RTS motor? And you'd think it's the RTS version, but that's not always the case. Um, if you have a straightforward installation um, and you can, you're going to control just one motor and you just want a standard uh, control through the, through the sensor, um, you can choose the RTS sensor. But what if you want a more advanced control um, and you want to see the history of the use of the, uh, of the sensor, um, you want to have scenarios automatically start, then what you need is an I.O. sensor. Um, you need it for an RTS motor and you need it for I.O. motors if you want to have more, uh, more control over it. Um, you do need something extra in addition to the sensor, which is a Tahoma box. Um, so that's a big benefit of the Tahoma box is that you can do a lot more with your sensor. Now, first of all, you can, um, you can have um, a, a few scenarios. You can actually uh, trigger three scenarios based on what you said as the limits for the, uh, the Sunus sensor. Um, so three scenarios in a scenario can be whatever you would like to, uh, to, to start. So if you want to close your roller shutters, for example, that can be one scenario. Um, if you want your lights to be turned on, that can be a scenario too. Um, or you can combine those. But you have three options, so there's, there's quite a lot of flexibility there. Um, the scenarios, once triggered, can also send an email automatically or an SMS, where an SMS service is a paid service. Uh, the email option is free, so you can even get an email saying that your roller shutters have closed uh, due to um, a very bright sun. So that's very handy. Um, with the new Tahoma update, it's uh, Tahoma 2.0 at the moment, so that's the latest version um, that automatically gets updated on your Tahoma. So if you decide to buy one now, um, you can rest assured that you always get the latest version automatically. Um, and that's a, a free service, so you don't need to pay extra for that. Um, so what, what, with this 2.0 version, um, you can have also a history of, um, of the use, so of the light intensity that the, uh, the Sunus has measured. So you can see uh, on a weekly, monthly or yearly basis how, um, how much sunlight the, uh, the sensor has measured. So that's, uh, that's quite a nice uh, little feature that you can get through Tahoma. Um, and that's not available on a standard remote or a standard RTS uh, unit. Uh, another option uh, with the Tama 2.0 operating system is that you uh, you can actually use more advanced um, controls. So you can set the limits for the Sunis, and you can, for example, use the Firmus I/O, which uh, which is uh, which measures the temperature. So it's like a thermometer, um, and you can say, for example, well, it needs to be uh, 20 degrees, and the sun needs to be at a certain intensity for uh, my roller blinds to go down. Uh, that wasn't op an option before. You can just uh, you could only use the input of one sensor, but now you can combine the inputs to have a, a personalized uh, trigger system, basically, uh, to start a scenario. So that's a, that's a very uh, advanced control system that you can then make. So that's, a, that's just a few options that we have uh, with, with Tahoma. Um, of course, it comes at an additional cost, so the Tahoma uh, needs, to be, needs to be bought as well. So that's another 300 X pounds uh, to be paid. So that's a, that's a small investment to make. Um, but yeah, considering the lifetime of both the sensors, the tubular motors from Somfy and the control system, uh, which as I mentioned before is, uh, is automatically updated for free, um, it's a nice investment, especially if you have a few, a few tubular motors that you need to control um, and, and you want this more advanced to control over your system. Now, it's, uh, it's quite a lot um, in terms of sensors that you can do. So if you have any questions, um, if you need inf more information or have any technical questions, do let me know. The email address is info at motorizer.it. I hope to hear from you soon and see you next time.